find a parking spot. Going to the Tom Ridge Environmental Center to see a movie about aircraft carriers on the well, the the big green screen, I should say. Pretty cool. We'll see if it's really green. Yeah, see if it's really green. It's not easy being green. Or cheesy. Or cheesy. Alright, <laughs> make sure nothing comes flying out okay. right here. Okay. And this is the movie we're going to be seeing, the aircraft carrier, Guardian of the Seas. I think it's the other one. Whoa! An elevator, prehistoric planet. And flight of the butterflies, not being confused with flight of the bumblebees. Hey, my legion, how y'all doing today? I'm with my buddy John Walkowitz, and we saw a great IMAX movie, uh, Aircraft Carrier Garden of the Seas. What do you think of it, buddy? Oh, it was fascinating. I think my brother and I saw like a TV special on it years ago. On the, it was, I can't remember what it's called, Super Carriers or something like that. They were really big ones. I thought back then, he said, uh, I don't know if it still holds true, that they're I think that's the one where he said there's only like four of them in the world that we have. And, and you know, they operate in different oceans around the globe, which is amazing. Like they said, a crew of 5,000 people, <laughs> if you can believe that. Just amazing. Awesome. And I, you know, uh, you know the uh, marine jet that they showed that uh, would go up, uh, what it calls VTOLs or something yeah. like that? That technology was actually invented by Nikola Tesla. The concept, at least, you know. Okay. Yeah, Nikola Tesla. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, that was one of his concepts. We could say he's a man out of time, ahead of his time. <laughs> oh, definitely. Yeah, that was a fantastic film. That was a. Yeah, that was the second IMAX film. The first one I saw was that. Uh, Niagara Falls last year, which I really liked. I really enjoyed this film. It, it was cool. They used CGI to show the dynamics and the internal workings of the carrier. They had people inspecting it, believe it or not, for like missing, uh, for like debris, like nuts and bolts that might actually have been known to kill uh, the pilots before. And you never think something that small would do something like that. It's a very dangerous job, but I'm glad they're doing it. And I love the movie. I give it a full on 10 out of 10. And it's amazing. It's like, uh, well, the takeoff, the uh, pneumatic thing that, you know, uh, basically kind of like speeds the aircraft across the carrier. Yeah. I think they said, like, when it launches, what did they say? Was it 160 miles per hour in three seconds and a force of four Gs? Yeah, I know. That's if amazing. If I remember it correctly. And then when you land, it's you have this big uh, steel cable that kind of catches it and keeps from going off the other end. It's just amazing, but they said, yeah, a lot of precision has to go in. They said, I don't know if, like, uh, I think it's the landing is considered, like, to be... Uh, euphoric. Well, yeah, euphoric, but, I mean, just, like, the, I don't know if it's, like, the biggest skilled operation. You know, we have to have a lot of talent to be able to land them properly on the aircraft carrier like that, and I can imagine. See, you don't have a, a lot of room to work with. It's a very short runway. And you got to hope that cable catches and, and on your hook and and no problems yeah. rise. Yeah, it was it was very amazing. I'm glad I got to see it with my good friend at the Tom Ridge Environmental Center. So I hope you all like this video. Until next time, bye. Please take care of my legion. It was fascinating. That they showed some stuff of the child. That guy, that guy was kind of a good piece of meat too. It was pretty cool. <laughs> all right, take care, everyone.